Hello. Today we're going to discover the site plan feature on Cedro. When you open a project, the layout stage is present. The order of the essential project tools has been rearranged. In the new view, the trace image tool can be found on the far left, the resize and mirror tools under transformations. The move house button has been added, but we will discuss that later in the tutorial. In the layout step, a new feature label lot has been added. The lot feature enables you to draw the plot of land your home will be built on. The most important information in this video is about creating your lot. Under the layout step submenu, you can find the options to start building the walls of your home. We have added the terrain option to the submenu as well. Select terrain and draw the plot of your plans and all elements fall on the exterior of your land. To begin, we will import an image to trace that has the survey as plan, which includes a terrain level. Please note, you cannot import a PDF file and select the page that you need to trace. Proceed with the same steps to trace an image. Once the image has been imported, draw the parcel with the tool on the screen. A name an area of the lot will appear. It can be modified from the options in the right panel. To change the dimensions of the walls, click on the walls and adjust the right panel. From here, you can create setback lines on your terrain for non-billable areas with options in the right panel. Enter the distance of the setback line from the property line. Build your home as usual, either horizontally or vertically. Next, in the submenu, Transformations, select Move House to reposition the house on the ground by rotating or sliding. Use the magnetism to get exact positioning of the house on the ground. Please note, the orientation change does not affect the layout or walls. A new feature in the plan step includes a new surface area. You will find the total surface area of the lot, the ground surface, with and without roof overhangs, and the area with nothing built. The area tool under the annotation submenu has been created to identify surfaces of the lot. You can visualize the elements drawn in the exterior step with the area tool. By drawing them with this tool, it can be present on your blueprints. You can also add or remove the surface of these areas in the area not built which will automatically update the surface table. Once the project is complete, you can find the surface table completed with all the project areas. And you can generate the PDF plan to include the site plan. We'll also find new scales specifically for the site plan to generate the PDF menu. That's it. Now is your turn. Feel free to ask our team any questions with the email provided.